Hello viewers, welcome to another episode of Let's Connect. Rashmi, it is so amazing to watch yes. how people use this time to mm -hmm. uh, reconnect with themselves. Exactly. And, it's been um, amazing. Yeah, yeah, and this journey of um, struggle or rather mm -hmm. this grim faced uh, Corona upset news, upsetting news that the world is going through yeah. mm -hmm. is also bringing to light the fact that, you know, uh, people are totally kind and good in their hearts. That's and right. that yeah. aspect of uh, human nature mm -hmm. is actually being reflected now in a situation like this. Exactly. And I think it is it is so important to reflect upon such amazing thoughts yeah. and also to see how people are you know able to reconnect to themselves. What we have been observing is like people are caring each other and they do care about the community as well. Like it's it's an amazing thing to see. We need these kind of. Um, well, I'm not saying it's great to have these kind of, um, you know, epidemics and all, but but this is the <laughs> but time. But sometimes when you yeah. get a back on your head, that's yes. when you come to your senses. That's true, that's true. Yeah. Well, talking yeah. about that, have you ever thought what would be the lives of extremely busy mm -hmm. artists and... Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, um, you know, the kind of change, you're not allowed to have a show, you're not allowed to go out, meet the public. Yes. It can be a life changing experience mm -hmm. for anyone who has been an artist. Yes. And um, it's someone who has been really active and always out there with the public and they have to sit at home. Yeah. Which is a bit torturing. But <laughs> <laughs> Let's see yeah. how um, the mm -hmm. artists are taking it. And yes. uh, today on Let's Connect, we have mm -hmm. Jyotsna Radhakrishnan, eminent playback. Singer wow. joining okay. with us, yeah. and let's uh, greet her. Hey, Jyotsna, welcome to Let's Connect. Hello, Jyotsna. Hi, hi, Shama. Hi, hi Rashmi. So lovely hi, to nice see you. Nice to both. see you here. <laughs> How have you been <laughs> doing? Well, um, that's a tricky question. <laughs> Well, like, do you want to know um, the real to... answer or the camera answer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think at this point, I think we are just, um, hoping for the best and actually also preparing for the worst. I think <laughs> all of yes. us are doing at this point. And, yeah, but it's amazing uh, yeah, just... how people in India have come together and decided to stay uh, together in this lockdown. You know, it isn't easy for yes, such a no. big country to come into a complete yes. standstill. And I think yes, everyone yes. in India is doing an amazing job. Yes, absolutely. Because India is a country which is known for its festivals. And, you know, people are always coming together. Even the neighbors are always coming together. You know, they're having some sort of get together. Something is always happening where people are, you know, coming together in groups. And mm -hmm. I think uh, for us to be home is a big thing if you ask me and I think we're really uh, dealing with it well I guess you know I, I feel we're doing a good job and we're being responsible enough at least majority of us I feel yeah and I heard that you know even neighbors are becoming very overly responsible <laughs> and reporting uh, <laughs> their neighbors who are not adhering to uh, the uh, rule is that true <laughs> yes yes that's happening too that's happening uh, people are being pretty uh, um, I think everyone's a little, uh, there's, there's a slight paranoia in everyone's head at the moment. <laughs> so I think, uh, yeah, but I, I guess so a part of being responsible because there are some people who don't take this seriously. I think that's there everywhere <laughs> around the world. There are people who think, okay, this is not going to happen to me. You know, you all, you always have that feeling when something really bad happens, you don't, you don't expect it to happen to you. You feel out of, uh, there is this, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> Uh, th there's this, I mean, we all go through that phase when something really bad happens, you know, that actually happening to us is not something that we, as being probable, you know. Mm -hmm. So I think there are people who are being slightly responsible, like, like there is in every part of the world. And I think uh, good neighbors are needed at this point <laughs> to, <laughs> to kind of report, keep them at home, you know. Yes. Okay. So yeah. Yeah, Jules, now I was thinking like all these weddings and everything being called off, like um, have you got any anything like any of your friends' weddings or anything? <laughs> <laughs> How did they cope with that? Well, yeah, uh, actually my nephew was supposed to get married uh, on the 5th of April and mm -hmm. they had to call off the wedding, obviously. But I think it was a very nice 
decision for them to do that now that of course we're in a lockdown we can't do that anymore yes. but yes. we actually but took this decision, decision at that time yes yes absolutely absolutely mm-hmm. they thought it is the right thing to do because i mean it, it's many people at risk so we all were like you know we we'll we'll you know we'll we'll enjoy it once the time passes you know so maybe yes. it's good for him too he can enjoy this courtship period a little more and you know. <laughs> <laughs> another way to look at it yeah. now that yeah. we're all married we know yeah, how, exactly. how amazing courtship <laughs> used to be once upon a time <laughs> yes <laughs> all right yes. Uh, talking about that yeah. you have had such an amazingly busy life uh, yes. moving from yeah. one show to the other from one <laughs> venue to the other uh traveling yes. from one place to the other in terms of mm-hmm. shows and events yes. uh, and that has suddenly come to a standstill yes absolutely it was who raised <laughs> this in the beginning but how are you going now it's been a bit right since the lockdown yeah it's been uh, it's a little like when you sit down and think about it it can be pretty and inducing because for performers like us that is definitely where the money comes in and uh, you know what uh, keeps us going mm-hmm. um so when performances and gigs and all especially like uh, if you ask me i'm somebody who does a lot of traveling who uh, you know performances outside the country and you know in other states also the country so uh it has been a pretty bad blow but uh, then you know in these kind of circumstances what you do is you think about people who are worse than you you know people have have uh, you know some people are worried about how to you know feed themselves three times a day so when you look at that you've been fortunate fortunate enough to have you know at least it's it's not bad for you i mean we can still keep going for for a while so um you kind of tend to look at uh, you know it's not you know it can get worse as well. what you in these kind of circumstances so a lot of my i mean all of my gigs in fact have been some of them have been rescheduled some of them have been uh, completely cancelled out um so it's a pretty grim time for artists especially performers who need to like go out there and interact with the public and perform so that's not going to happen for a really really long time now and i guess we are all just prepared for that and you kind of uh, lean towards our music at this point of time to keep us to keep us sane you know so <laughs> yeah i think we we all just need to count our blessings at this point and um realize that uh, in a country like india people can have it a lot worse mm-hmm. yeah i'm sorry right how have you been using this uh, time now well <laughs> i have been busier than ever before because first of all my i have a 4 year old boy so okay. <laughs> he keeps me occupied all the time i'm uh, completely tied up like he he wakes up in the morning and then like it's a hurricane till he till he goes back to bed <laughs> uh, so you can imagine then there is cleaning there is cooking we did have somebody to help us part time but we of course sent her back home because it's not safe for her so um we need to do the cooking the cleaning <laughs> taking care of the kid and finding time to practice in between so I am pretty much occupied <laughs> the whole day. So your bo- I think I had more leash. Yeah, sorry. So your boy must be really happy to have mommy with him now, which is not he's, he's usual. He's making the it? maximum use of it. He's making the maximum use of it. He's he's at at this point he's like my personal trainer now. I'm 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 like on twenty four seven cardio workout <laughs> with him. <laughs> so so okay. you know yeah. so my hands full at this point and yes i'm also making sure that i find some time for myself like i do keep a minimum of half an hour at least every day to do some meditation and to do some yoga and you know to kind of um, reconnect with myself and i think at this point it's very important because me also being a human being i also have my bouts of anxiety when i check social media and i see all these uh, you know uh, depressing news but you know so many people died here so many people were affected here when you read all that it gets to you after a point so i'm just trying to kind of you know balance that also and find time for myself and i think everybody should do that it's so important to find time for yourself yeah well uh, jyotsna was this pandemic one of the reasons that you started finding that half an hour for yourself or did you always <laughs> try and do it <laughs> 
well i have always wanted to but it wasn't as important as now i feel it is <laughs> i feel so i need it more the lining isn't it <laughs> <laughs> absolutely absolutely now i feel since i'm doing it every day now i'm going to make this a part of my life even after this is all sorted and done <laughs> that is so awesome like mm-hmm. i i see that people are trying to find out new hobbies are trying to you know uh do something that they have always wanted to do so you've already mm-hmm. started off yes. with meditation and yoga which is wonderful yes. uh, does it mean that yes. our priorities can be um like just changed according to the situation <laughs> yeah and we are, we are yeah. trying to see the just, brighter side of it all isn't it that's right <laughs> yeah 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 well, yeah we're talking exactly. about um, looking at the brighter picture and uh, overcoming all this um, brings me back to your first uh, single mm-hmm. from j note the j note mm. right uh, jyotsna so uh, parame was your uh, first single isn't that right um it's actually my um second single as it, as in i had done one called ini varumo in 2016 mm-hmm. and this is the second single which i have like composed and written uh ah, okay. myself okay. Mm-hmm. all right so yeah. i think it has a lot of relevance uh, mm-hmm. in a situation when we overcome uh the whole covid yes. uh problem yes <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes yes i guess uh, it was just i think some bizarre coin it came out at the right time i feel <laughs> because <laughs> yeah. uh, uh and, yeah. and the two the, philosophies that you know that were addressed in the video mm-hmm. album yes it's yeah amazing like um, what, actually, what made you come up with uh, such a theme what was the uh, inspiration behind it well when i did the song the main idea behind uh, it was um the main concept of the song is rising out of the ashes like a phoenix it's about finding yourself it's about uh, coming out of your uh, hurt and your sorrows like a champion uh, that is what the basic theme of the song was and what drove me to write something was uh, like that was, was um thing is i am um i'm not very active on all the platforms but i am on instagram i'm i'm pretty like compared to all the other mediums like i like using instagram a lot more so there is this young crowd that connects with me and i like to you know sometimes share my random thoughts about things that i strongly feel about so i would get uh, messages from all these youngsters about how they are dealing with you know certain problems i don't know for some reason there have been found it comfortable enough to open up and talk to me which which i'm really uh, happy about glad about um so a lot of people did come to me telling me about their problems how they are not able to open up to their folks about it and how there is this big stigma about you know going and seeing a psychiatrist you know and things like mm-hmm. that like mm-hmm. seeking help for mental issues i think right. in india and in, in a country like india yeah it is mental issues taboo. are still mm-hmm. exactly it's a big taboo i mean people don't talk talk about it and you know you you don't don't let it and then it gets worse and then it can lead to things like suicide and you know so a lot of kids did message me at that at a certain point of time telling me about you know relationship problems and you know about peer pressure and things like that and how they are not op- they don't have the uh, the uh, the friendship the the kid their parents to talk about it or they skip talk about it and things like that so that kind of drove me to i kind of uh, had this thing in my mind that okay, if at all i make a song point i wanted to be about this i wanted to be uh, a kind of a strategy that tells everybody that you know we are responsible for our own happiness and we need to um, uh, you know we can uh, we all all of us have the ability to kind of rise out of the ashes like a phoenix all of us have that it's our choice uh, that decides you know uh, anything can happen to us but it is the choice that we make that you know finally decides how the outcome is going to be so that was the basic idea of the song and when i wanted to make uh, once i was done with the song i did a pretty unconventional for the song i didn't want to make forward this me singing and my band members behind me i didn't want that i wanted a completely unconventional video that made the viewer think and that is when the director of the video his name is gilbert gilbert xavier uh, i had a long talk with him and uh, he heard the song of times and it is he who actually brought this spiritual angle into the whole concept and i thought it gelled so well with the basic concept of the song 
so there are two uh, japanese philosophies that i addressed in the video one is enso and one is that of kintsugi so enso is basically um uh, when it comes a full circle that is what an enso means and there is a shot where i'm creating my enso with golden paint and uh, uh, the other philosophy that is being uh, it on here is kintsugi kintsugi is basically a japanese art form and uh, it is a form of pottery actually where broken vessels are put together using gold and the basic ideology behind kintsugi is that um your sorrows and uh, your uh, whatever dark phase that you go through in life it is that that makes you beautiful it is how, how you how you are put together after facing your problems and how you come out into the light is what makes you beautiful and kintsugi is considered to be a very a very beautiful piece of art kintsugi bowls are considered to be a uh, very beautiful to look at and i'm sure you must have you know at some point of time come across kintsugi bowls in your life um so there is this shot in the end where i am shown as this human representation of kintsugi so that is the basic ideology and i think it gelled really well with the basic concept of the song and um a lot of people i did get a lot of feedback uh once the song came out that you know i got messages like i wake up in the morning and i listen to it and it gives me the uh spirit to kind of just jump out of bed and go you know <laughs> it helps me it helps me when my days are dark and th- i i got so many messages from so many people after the song was released and i think that is what i wanted <laughs> and that is uh, that has happened and i'm so glad about it <laughs> yeah in fact yeah. Um, the uh, the second philosophy that you were talking about kinsugi uh which mm-hmm. was ve- which has a very strong message because mm-hmm. we are often uh, we live in a society which you know or has always taught us that broken china can never be mended and you know that <laughs> yeah, has right. you know been embedded in, into our heads so strongly exactly. that you know you fear that exactly. thought and you know you connect it to so many things in life uh but exactly. uh, with this art form that was introduced the mm-hmm. whole philosophy of kintsugi and that you know even broken pieces can be made one of the most exquisite work of art exactly. was So absolutely yeah this was such a strong mm-hmm. one mm-hmm. and uh, i had to talk to the entire production <laughs> team and your amazing voice as usual you know we That's totally right. loved that song and yes. um, i'm sure you, you know in Thank the recent so times <laughs> it makes even more sense <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> thank you yeah yeah something yeah um so jolts now you're such a bubbly happy person you know whenever i see your performance or you know you always smile and you know it's so happy to look at you so what do you have to offer in this sort of difficult time to the people out there well um i am a musician i am a singer and that is pretty much all i know <laughs> what to do <laughs> i don't know anything else i like to speak music i like to communicate through my music and i am just uh, you know so when i feel anxious i like to kind of listen to a good song and you know sometimes i feel like you know uh, i would like to just keep singing for my audience and if at all it calms anybody i think that is the biggest thing i can do if if it if it takes their mind off of their problems 5 minutes in their day i think i'm successful there so at this point of time uh, i am open to sing i can sing for you <laughs> how many ever times you want to if it takes away your misery even for a little while so um yeah so that is and i think at this point that is all i can do job, uh, trying mm-hmm. to reconnect and you know make you making your um fans uh, excited every now and then with mm-hmm. you know one of your songs on social media as That's well right. and, yeah it's, it's amazing you. how you you know send in those mm-hmm. positive vibes through your music yeah. thank you so much thank you <laughs> um yeah i think uh, music is a is a form of therapy as well isn't it 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 just sort of give you some positivity like when you are down you want to listen to your music that's that's why absolutely you know uh, absolutely music yeah. is um it i think it is the easiest way to connect um mm-hmm. irrespective of language um irrespective of style it can stir up any emotion inside you i that's think that right. is the most part of a uh, part of uh music and um since i have uh, mm-hmm. a little access <laughs> to that art form i think i should just make use of that at this point of you know give away some love and happiness to my listeners <laughs> of course <laughs> 
Uh, hey, Jyotsna, I remember you used to be a voracious reader. Do you still have time to ah. read or are you considering getting <laughs> back to it now? No, actually, I should be thankful for this time because I'm actually making an effort to get back to reading because I was such a horrible YouTube addict. You know, I would I would make this uh, resolution every year to get back to my reading again. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> it would just fall in the drain. I would just, you know, once my kid goes to sleep, I'll pick up my phone and I'll, I'll be on this YouTube binge. <laughs> I used to hate that about myself and I would be like, I need to start reading, I need to start reading. But then, oh shucks, there's a video that I have to watch. Then I'll just pick up my phone and watch the video. But <laughs> thanks to this piece, it can be quite I'm actually making it. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, exactly. Have you picked exactly. up book, uh, recently? Yes, yes, I have, and I'm I'm actually reading. Um, uh, there's this book called A Suitable Boy by uh, Vikram Seth. He's an Indian author, and he's mm, okay. uh, it's such an amazing book. It's 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 a lovely, lovely, lovely book. I would recommend it to uh, anybody who loves reading. Uh, okay. Chama, I know you're a lot into reading too. Maybe you should pick that up and start <laughs> no, I reading. Think I, I, I'm <laughs> in the same boat as you are, you know. So <laughs> I'm into a lot of binge watching social media. Yeah, which I, I know. Be doing. I know. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jyotsna, for spreading the positivity and like we always say, music is a therapy and if we can make someone happy with music, <laughs> so shall it be. Uh, mind singing for our viewers? I would love to, why not? <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Thank you, Jyotsna. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, okay, maybe I'll sing an English song that would be better so that everybody can connect. <laughs> Um, okay, this is, um, okay, Adele is one of my all-time favorite artists, so mm -hmm. um, maybe I'll do one of her songs. Sure. Um, please don't mind if I screw it up, because <laughs> it's not every day that, you know, sing English songs. So I'm just doing this out of my love. Please forgive me if something goes wrong. <laughs> I heard that you said all that you Found a girl in joy, married now. I heard that your dreams came true, that she gave you things I didn't give to you. Oh, friend, why are you so shy? Ain't like you to hold back or oh, hide from the light. I hate to turn up out of the blue on a white, but I couldn't stay away. I couldn't fight it. I hoped you'd see my face and that you'd be reminded that for me it isn't over. <laughs> Never mind, I'll find. Someone like you, I wish nothing but the best for you too. Don't forget me, I beg, I remember you said. Sometimes it lasts to love, but sometimes it hurts and stays. Thank you so much, Jyotsna. Just as much as we loved it, I'm sure our audience would have appreciated that song as well. And we wish you nothing you. but the best. And hopefully all these times too shall pass very soon and we will see a brighter future. Uh, thank, thank you, you for joining us on Let's Connect. Mm -hmm. Wish you all the best. Thank you, Jyotsna. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. It was so wonderful to catch up with you, Sharma, after so long. And yes, Rashmi, it was <laughs> wonderful to meet you too. <laughs> And yeah, please do stay safe. Hope you guys nice are taking care you of too. yourselves. And yeah, I, I and think that is a wonderful too, mantra. From, the team from M4 TV, we wish you all the very best. <laughs> Thank you. There is a wonderful mantra in India, as we all say. I think we should all chant this together every day. Loka, Samasta, Sukhino, Bhavantu, wishing peace and happiness everywhere in the world. Indeed. Thank you. Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu, just as you, uh, your message <laughs> Thank said, you. let's hope peace be upon the world. Thank you and goodbye. Absolutely. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you.